Good evening everybody. My name is Mukesh Jagga and today at India Soft 2024 I have my guest Mr. M A Jawhar who is the president for CP Plus. Uh, welcome sir to our show. Thank you. We like to know that progress of your company. How has it been over the years and what is it that you see it in the future? Sure. See, we started in India in about 2007. when cctv surveillance cameras was a luxury right it was basically a status symbol for a specific houses that yes i am a big man i have a camera i am a big man i have a camera at my home when things got evolved in about 2011 when we thought of at the volume goes high earlier we were importing it from other countries we started working on to the software part and 2011 we controlled the complete software right when we further moved on because as you know surveillance industry is the most evolving industry at the moment yes. in past 15 to 17 years it had humongous growth now to cover up those growth in 2006 15 16 when we thought of the volume is going real high then in 2017 we put up our first factory at tirupati where we would be man- we were manufacturing the complete hardware and the capacity of uh, that factory was about 1 million cameras per month after that uh, with these kind of geopolitical situations are uh, going on and the volume is again uh, gone very high we again invested into a big way and we have spent a lot of money and built up the world third largest factory and india's uh, largest factory at uh, kadappa in andhra pradesh mm-hmm. which has the capacity about of about 3 million cameras per month. Okay. So we are producing big. about 3 million cameras and fully independent and we are fully atmanirbhar uh, to our prime minister's vision. Yeah. So the atmanirbhar program definitely would have helped the organization grow more and any benefits you get from the atmanirbhar program like any PLI scheme etc or it is just nation first that really kicks all of us as Indians. to really grow india as a make in india campaign sure see the pli and when when you start atmanirbharta and when you start this we started is as a nation first because there is no pli scheme the pli scheme first started for the telecom companies there was no even thought of there, there was not even a iota of thought of pli scheme into the surveillance industries though we have always demanded for this after investing a lot of money into this the volume of surveillances are not that high or as big as for the telecom industry mm-hmm. so therefore it is more required in our kind of industry than of the telecom industry right. because we are working on more risk investment and low volumes right but still we are making it and we are maintaining it to make it in india the second most uh, important thing is that the security cameras are the most vulnerable thing in the world your stream is secure you are not being basically viewed by somebody else that is why the control in india is more required and that is where we have launched the complete indigenized series which is a vidu series mm-hmm. after cp plus this vidu series yeah would be a cp plus brand this vidu series is 100% indigenized we have got indian r&d indian design indian source code indian manufacturing with most of indian components though everybody knows that the major supply chain or major ecosystem of secular service industry or secular security industry is into the nearby areas but we are coming out of that and we are trying and maintaining that that whatever indigenized component since the since the hard chip chipset and the semiconductor is yet to be built in india so we are just working out that till the time the chip is not there we can indigenize whatever we could and after that once the chipsets are there we are working on that also that we could make it indigenize also so if i may ask you what is the percentage of indigenization which has already happened and in the next 2 3 years what is the more percentage of indigenization which will happen in your product see as far as uh, the camera components are concerned there are three major components one is the chipset the second is your sensors and the lens all three are imported unfortunately at right. the moment nobody makes that in india but yes at the first instance 
the cable connectors adapters whatever we could make in india the second phase is the housing the complete uh, plastics and the power components whatever we could make uh, the third most important thing is the geopolitical uh, situations like what our honorable prime minister call is that abda me avsar now with this uh, geopolitical situation the see as far as the our friendly countries are concerned they all are developing they are not our our producing company not the designing companies designing companies are europe and uh, us just right so the chip manufacturer or chip designer there are looking at us at india for giving their design for producing in india there are a lot of chip designers who are in connect with us and we are in basically final discussions with them to take the chip from there and if it is possible we can fab it in india and you would very soon see that a chipset a camera with cp plus chipset inside it <laughs> very interesting thing which i could have actually mentioned it initially also salman khan ji is your brand ambassador so a curious question how much does a brand ambassador help into the sales i don't want to know the figures because that's again company has to keep it as a secret but obviously when a new one is coming or anybody is thinking of having a another brand ambassador how much of it helps into the sales see thing is this that as i as i mentioned that when we started business at that point of time it was a luxury yeah salman khan or salman bhai i call it uh, call him like that he is the household name right now if you have to take brand to the household you need to a person who endorses it so he has helped us a lot he helped us not us only but he has helped the industry the per industry. se the service industry per se yeah. to make it or to convert this from the luxury to the necessity right so this is where his contribution to surveillance industry is comes there. in yes we are the media for that yeah. we are proud of it right <laughs> in the end i'll only like to ask is that how much is the domestic market in total sales and the international market as per se not your company uh, percentage but generally what is the market size of from domestic india point of view and worldwide you can throw in any figures for the customer benefit see as far as see what i would say is that camera is not a stand alone equipment yeah. it goes with lot of uh, other things. other things it goes with the projects whether it is highway railways we installed about 140000 cameras in delhi schools right we have supplied more than 4 lakh 5 lakh cameras to the police organizations or different applications whether it is honorable supreme court's direction of uh, keeping police stations every every police station interrogation room connected to the cctv so those all are things are there if i say the numbers yes it is about 35 to 40 lakhs 3 million to 4 million cameras in a year what what we are selling uh, into india and once it is going out we have the export market also so earlier it was basically headed by china and now this is opening up for uh, the uh, industries like us and we are going international we are we have opened office in about 15 uh, odd city uh, countries differently and we are working on that okay thank you very much sir Mr. thank you her and uh, wish you all the luck thank you very and much for the future part also thank you, thank you very much thank you, thank you sir may i say yeah Cheers for venue. Yeah. Toast. Just <laughs> the toast.